Hello, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. That's Jazzy in the background. Creating some noise because I started filming. <laughs> so today we are going to be talking about dog training and I know that this is why a lot of you subscribed. I mean my most popular video is actually one talking about all my dogs. So if there's anything you want to know about my dogs or anything like that, comment down below and I'll... I'll definitely do a video on that, but thank you guys so much for watching. Today I'm going to be talking about the three basic things that you can teach any puppy or new rescue dog or any new member of the family. So I like to classify myself as a trainer that kind of does everything. I am going to be using positive reinforcement tactics in this video, but I do not um, confine myself to just a positive reinforcement trainer and this is because I think that if you use all different types of training you're not limited as much as you are if you put yourself in a box so I do all types of training but this video is going to be positive reinforcement training because when you're teaching a dog a new skill or a new trick I like to use positive reinforcement to kind of reinforce the learning phases and make it a fun thing for your dog to enjoy. So yeah, let's just get right into the video. I hope you enjoy. Also, my website is katiesk9s.com. Um, Katie's Canines, dog everything, kind of our logo, or slo slogan, not logo. Um, and also, if you have any questions about your dog or anything you want me to make a video on, go down below. Um, I was thinking maybe of doing Skype calls in the future and setting up Skype calls where you can pay and then I'll help you with your dog because you guys have so many in-depth questions in the comments below. What do you think about that? Would that be worth it to set up? Okay, well, let's get into the video. I hope you enjoy it. Today we're just going to be teaching him lay down and stay. And it really is just going to depend on his mood, how easy he's going to let me get this. So, oh, he's already sitting though. So, I'm just going to reward that then. If he's already in a seated position, I'm just going to be like, sit. Good boy. Just so that he knows that's what I want. Come here, kiddo. So right there, he's just being submissive because he gets scared whenever anyone puts a lot of attention on him. So I'm just going to pick him back up and I'm going to take the treat and drag it up. And say he's not seated right now, you can always take your hand and put it back and push their butt down. Good boy, sit. So what we're going to do is we are going to teach him down. Ready? I'm going to take the tree down. I'm going to just put my finger on his shoulder blades. He's like, what are you doing? Is there a tree in that hand? And I'm just going to lure him down. One mistake people make is going too fast. You want to go slow, slow slow perfect good boy down and never reward them until their elbows are on the ground so this is something he doesn't know so he's going to be like what are we doing so slow 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 and see right there he just tried to get it out of my hand i'm going to push him back i'm going to go a little slower this time because he needs a little bit more time and i'm just going to push it down slowly and you don't want to, I pushed down a little too hard right there. You don't want to push down to the point where they're falling down. You want to make sure sit, that you're only guiding them. So you want them to make the decision. Good. So then we're going to try it a couple more times. I'll probably do it five more times. Or er, down. And this is something that dogs, <laughs> Jazz would just like that. Dogs tend to understand very quickly, especially if you're doing it consistently. Now, I'm gonna show you what happens if you go too fast because that's what a lot of people tend to do. See, he's just trying to get the treat out of my hand. He doesn't know what he's actually doing. He laid down to get closer to the treat, but he wasn't actually doing the movement as I told him to or wanted him to. So I'll go slow, and I'm not gonna release the treat until he goes down. down. Down, perfect, and right there, give him the treat and pet. Good boy, good boy. Oh, you being so good, you being so good. Do you want to practice stay? Okay, now we're gonna work with stay. Come on, up, get up, get up, come on. Okay, so, oh, he wants belly rubs. He wants belly rubs. Okay, so for stay, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to practice it with Jazzy because she's a bigger dog. So I thought it would actually be, uh, she's like, you're practicing with me. I'm not asking you to shake, hun. Um, I thought it would actually. 
actually be more beneficial, or yeah, I think that's a word, if I did it with both of them. So you can see the difference with bigger dogs to smaller dogs. Jazzy's a little bit more advanced with training. She's really good at obedience, but I'll just show you the rundown because she definitely likes to take things slow some days, right? Yeah. Down. Okay. Now I'm going to say stay. Stay. One, two. Good girl. And you don't want to start when you're doing stay for a very long time. Because you're because you don't want the dog to break because you just want them to learn what stay is. Ready? Stay. So I'll put a hand in front of them. Stay. Good girl. And then give her the treat. Good girl. Say stay. One, two, three. Good girl. And now the next step, instead of just getting up, you don't want it to be drastic, is stay. One, two. Put your body away a little bit. Good girl. Then you're going to get a little bit further with your body language and maybe look away. So stay, one, two, three, good girl. And if they are to break, just know that's not their fault. You just have to do it a little bit shorter. Some dogs catch on to it faster than others. Um, and some just really are puppies and like to run around. So it's going to take a little bit more consistency. Then you get to stay, one, two, I'll stand up. Good girl, stay. I always like to keep my cues consistent, so make sure you're doing the stop sign. Make sure she's scared of the cat. That's what's happening. Are you scared of the cat? Are you scared of the cat? So that's just pretty much the basics. It's pretty easy and simple and straightforward. Let me know what you think. And yeah, good girl, Jazz. Good girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know how it goes trying with your pup. Today's creature call is going to Otter Pup Productions. Thank you so much for being such a loyal subscriber and supporter, and I love you to death. I love every single one of you, and I cannot wait to hear how it goes with your dogs. So I'll see you next video. Bye!